Hello everybody, my name is Viktor Sovietov. I am Chief Executive at Cloudozer LLP. It's a company behind Lean, the new Erwin QM, which is also known as Erwin Kunzen. Today I will talk about porting Lean to Raspberry Pi. First of all, a few words about Lean itself. Lean is essentially a different implementation of Erwin QM. It was created totally from scratch, so it shares no code with standard Erwin QM written by Ericsson's team. Uh, we try to create this new VM as small and as fast as possible. Uh, we also decided to not use SMP, so if you want to deploy Lean on multi-core configuration, we just start as many instances as we need. Also, our VM is optimized for very low startup latency. It usually starts in tens of milliseconds and uh, we paid a lot of attention to minimize the jitter caused by garbage collection. Lean doesn't need to have access to disk. It may start without access to block device. This is another big difference. If you want to know more about Lean, you're very welcome to visit our community website, erwinconcern.org. Today we'll talk about Link's port to Raspberry Pi, but there are other ports as well. Almost all of them is under heavy development now, so Link's going to expand its ecosystem quite significantly in the nearest future. Original Link VM was targeting Zen X86. Now uh, there is a port to Zen ARM. Uh, also, we're working with support to POSIX systems uh, such as Linux and Mac OS X. And today we have announced the first success of our attempt to get Lean to work on MIPS-based microcontroller, which uh, has only a half megabyte of RAM. There is uh, also a substantial by our partner to port Lean to bigger 64-bit MIPSs. Today I will focus on running Lean on ARM, specifically on Raspberry Pi microcomputer. So why it is important to run Lean on ARM and uh, what were our goals to make this port? First of all, we wanted to create first bare metal port of our platform which originally was intended to work under Zen hypervisor. So it served only virtual by iron for now. Uh, also we think that we can continue to embrace the ARM64 servers because they seem to be a perfect bricks for energy efficient cloud services and even replace Intel based servers for uh, certain types of applications. For this port, we definitely think that Erwan will be a convenient language for writing embedded applications as well as uh, Internet of Things apps. Everybody talks about Internet of Things today and, well, Lean seems to be just the right platform for that. Now, let me pass a word, virtually of course, to our CTO and Link's author, Maxim Harshenko, for a short demo of very first run of Raspberry Pi port. No. Erlang uh, on Raspberry Pi. Here we got Raspberry Pi connected through this serial interface, through this, through this converter to USB. And I'm starting the uh, screen. Uh, which talks to, to this interface and now I turn on the Raspberry Pi After a few seconds we got a prompt for Erlang and then we have this classic example 2 plus 2 is 4 or help So, it works. Here we are. So, what were uh, the challenges for this port? There were quite a few. 
Porting almost anything to bare metal is much harder than writing an application for Windows or Linux or something else like that. The hardest part is to make anything happen, uh, like to make a first output to the console. So doing that we call Hello World is really the hardest part. We stuck quite a bit with the serial interface of Raspberry Pi, which is not standard, and uh, we had to make a couple of converters to get up a serial connection between Raspberry Pi and laptop. Another challenge was to determine Pi's specific of doing boot sequence to determine of how much memory we've got there, and we still do not sure that we did it right, and. Well, this port is definitely is not complete to be run on uh, Raspberry Pi 2, which, uh, well, is much fatter version, suitable to run Linux or even Windows 10, while we targeted much smaller and simpler devices. Well, this pleasant young gentleman depicts of how we imagine typical embedded developer today. And there is a reason why. Industry managed to make a huge progress in a high-level software stack, but it seems that embedded software stack remains in the 70s. The set of languages in this area, compiler technologies, well, C still occupies the major role in embedded development. And we want to change this situation by introducing the very high-level functional languages such as Erlang to uh, this area. And uh, not only for writing applications, we also want to be able to implement hardware drivers with using the same stack. Erlang is definitely a perfect candidate for this area. It has mechanisms to provide reliability. It has concurrency, it has bit pattern matching and hot code loading. So, well, it looks like a perfect toolbox for writing applications which should run forever, which should restart itself predictably. And uh, all that embedded stuff, all of that, is always about processing events and protocols, which always been a strong side of our own. And if we go even deeper, we should think about how we could implement a driver in high-level languages like Erwin or similar languages. And there is definitely a need to attempt that, because right now when we look on a piece of code that has to be simple, like, well, on an Ethernet card driver, which, uh, well, what do we see? It's something like hundreds of thousands lines of almost unreadable C code. We do think that it's more than excessive. Also, it's very often situation when there is a single reason to uh, choose Linux because it's simply a set of these drivers growing like a snowball and nobody can improve this code or even change it because well it's difficult to read and understand such a huge amount of c code and uh, for our perspective there is much better approach to make drivers which we divide into portions uh, the low level portion should be generated from a hardware description itself from Verilog or VHDL or something like that. The sole purpose of this part is to transform low-level events such as bit flips or memory writes into errant messages. Then all further processing would be logical for driver. Its state should be done by a high-level portion of a driver in Erwin. All of that is still a concept. Uh, but we have got an ongoing project for that got named as Project L. Well, Project L up to date was classified as a top secret. Being described briefly, it's Erwin with strong types. 
and uh, we're trying to make type inference developer friendly by not forcing programmer to write any additional type annotations. Compiler should be able to derive all types without having annotation even in simplest form which Erwin provides currently. Also, the programs in L language compile in binary code, so it doesn't require VM and uh, its runtime is very minimal, no more than 8 kilobytes that always should fit to the first level cache in CPU. And output of the compiler is a unikernel, so it's a binary image uh, runnable either inside VM or on bare metal. So, well, there was a kind of pre-announcement of this new kind of Erlang, which we're going to introduce maybe on the next conference. Right now, Project L is a bit more than a concept. Compiler is able to determine and derive recursive types and generate quite an optimal code, which runs pretty fast, faster than C actually. Uh, the first working example uh, was a generator of Fibonacci number sequence uh, just a couple months ago. And yesterday, Maxim got working example of uh, Bergshaw's option pricing algorithm. Size and performance of that code is more than impressive, so who knows, maybe it will be our future. So, well, everybody is very welcome to join us in our efforts to put Erwin on more architectures and more platforms and more hardware. There are a lot of things to do for anybody who wants to use Erwin to program all those small things. Please do not hesitate to keep in touch with us through our community site erwankonzen.org where you can find all our contacts. We apologize for not being able to address you all face to face this time, but we definitely meet in person on next event. Thank you for all attention. Bye.